Hey class, how are you doing? Today we're going to work on making the tunnel slide. I thought a little video would help you out. It's a little difficult to make the tunnel slide if you've never seen something like this before, which many of you have not. So here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new part. That's easy enough. And start a new sketch on the XY plane. Then I'm going to hop over to my instructions and see what they say. So these instructions are available to you. They will assist you as you watch the video. And um, they're pretty straightforward, so let's read through them together. It says dimension a rectangle 120 inches on the x-axis and 132 inches on the y-axis. So 120 by 132. I'm going to go over here and draw a rectangle first off. Let me go ahead and just put it right there. Dimension it. It said 120 on the x and 132 on the y here see what that looks like. Boom! Big rectangle. Let's move on in the instructions. Next instruction says, draw two lines through the rectangle. Dimension them 36 inches respectively from the top and the bottom. Basically, draw two lines, dimension them 36 inches. Looks like this. Line tool. Here, all the way across. Make sure it's flat. Another one here. All the way across, make sure it's flat too. 36 inches, so dimension from here to that line, change it to 36. From here to the bottom, change it to 36 inches. There we go, that step is done. Let's go back to the instructions. Next it says, trim everything except the top right and the lower left. If a line won't trim, it has a dimension on it. In that case, delete the dimension. Let's go ahead and delete all the dimensions right now. It'll make things a lot easier. So, if you're in the dimension tool, go ahead and click Escape. Then, click on a dimension and hit Delete on your keyboard. Let's go ahead and delete all of them. There we go. Got it. Now, it said trim everything except the upper right line and the lower left line. So, we've used our trim tool before. It's up here. I'm going to click trim, and I'm going to click on the sides here. This works best because I want to keep this line up here. So, then I'll click this one, that one, and this one. Now, I only have that one upper vertical. That's going to be the top of my slide. Then, I'm going to click this one, this one, and this one, and this line I'm going to keep, and that's going to be the bottom of my slide. Perfect. Let's move on in the instructions. It says draw a line at the bottom of the left vertical line. Dimension it to 18 inches. So I'm going to draw a line and make it 18 inches long. Line tool. Here, over, 18, enter. Got my little 18 inch line. That's going to be the base of my slide. Let's go back to the instructions. Use the spline command to draw the top of the tunnel slide. This takes a little practice. Let me just show you how to do it. Let's go to Inventor. And I'm going to click on this line drop down menu. And I want the spline tool. I don't want the one that says control vertex. I want the one that says interpolation. If you choose the wrong one, it's not going to work right. So let's design the top of our slide. Basically, you click up here, you go over about 18 inches, you click again, you go up to the top of the slide, and click again. Then you click a check mark. Let's do it for the bottom of the slide too. Get that spline tool again, click right here on the 18 inch mark, go over a little bit, and go up to the bottom of the slide, and click again. So there's my slide. What's cool about this is I can adjust it now. I can grab this little dot, I can move things around, I can make the slide look however I want. Let's keep it looking like a normal tunnel slide though. There's the top of it, and there we go for the bottom. Looks pretty good. I'm guessing most of you can figure out what we're going to do next. We are going to finish that sketch. Click on the house view, and I'm going to go back to the instructions. All right, I did the bottom there like it asked me to. Connected it, I finished it up. I finished my sketch like it asked, and now I'm ready to extrude it. And the extrusion depth looks like 36 inches. So, extrude, select the part, 36 inches. There's my slide. Well, how is a kid going to fit down that? It's a solid piece of material. 
So what we got to do is shell it out a little bit. So what do we got to do? It says use the shell command. Click on remove faces and select both the top and the bottom of the tunnel. Set the thickness to three inches. So shell tool. I click the top, turn my camera around, and the bottom of my slide. Let's change that thickness to three. And there we go. If you do this correctly, you should be able to see up your entire slide. There it is. You can see down the slide too. You can see a little daylight on the other end there. So let's check it out. There's my slide. Looks like a tunnel slide that the kids can slide through. If you don't like the way something looks, you can always go back and adjust it. Just double check the instructions, make sure we didn't miss anything. Looks good. Success. All right. Let's go back and color this thing however you want. That'll do it for today. There we go. Light red slide. Make sure you save your file in the appropriate place before you leave your computer.